The place is open, but hardly anyone comes in here anymore. I stop by from time to time to relax and read a book. And every once in a while, the odd customer will wander in. So, uh, is Makoto's mother here? Her health has never been very good, I'm afraid. She's resting back at my place. She's been sick lately. Well, anyway, it's fine. Here, have a seat. Uh, hmm? uh, oh, um, no thanks. I don't want to miss the bus back home. Makoto, what about you? <laughs> Makoto! Wait a sec. I think you should at least see her. You've come all this way. It'd be a waste just to turn around and leave. It may seem odd, but it's much faster than walking. Families lived here in Kamada for ages. They left me this house, but it's far too big. Please wait here for a moment. So, uh, um, there was something you told me back at the hospital. You said you didn't have a problem with killing someone, right? You didn't mean that, did you? Of course not. Just shut up, all right. If you really meant it, then you wouldn't have come with me to see Kay. You wouldn't have gotten on the bus with me today. And, and right now, you wouldn't have let me come with you to see your mom, either. I told you to shut up. be over in a moment, all right? Please have a seat until then.
Makoto. You're Taro, Taro Komori, aren't you? This is the first time we've met, isn't it? I'm Makoto's mother, Sanai. Oh, good, good evening. Pleased to meet you. This may be a bit late, but my condolences for your loss. Oh, no. You have no right to say that. You were involved in her death, weren't you? That's why you abandoned me and moved away after Dad killed himself. Just run and hide. Is that your plan? Makoto, don't say that! Please, you must forgive me. Please, Makoto. I'm so sorry. Listen, I don't give a damn if you're sorry or not! After all these years, you think I'm still stuck up on you leaving me? You think that's why I'm here? Just tell me why Dad killed himself! Why did he do it right after Taro and his sister were kidnapped? I've waited long enough! I deserve an answer, damn it! Why can't you just tell me? Is it because Taro's here? Me? Why me? There's something you don't want Taro to hear. That's it. Just admit it! I knew it. It's just like I thought. Dad kidnapped them. It all makes sense. He didn't. You're wrong. Then tell me what's right! Well? Makoto, that's enough, all right? It's okay. All of that's in the past now. How the hell can you just let this go, Taro? This screwed up your life, too! Come on, your sister died because of this, didn't she? I know, but... I'll make her tell us the truth. We've been living with this crap for 11 years. It's time to settle this! Maybe you're right. And I want to know, too. Of course I do. But I still think... I still think it's wrong to yell at your mother like that. <laughs> Always gotta play by the rules, don't you? The little Komori prince! <laughs> Makoto, stop! Out of my way! What, do you think you're better than me just because you're a Komori? No, that has nothing to do with it! Makoto! No, go ahead. I won't stop you. If it would make you feel better. They kicked us off again. Now remind me, who was it that insisted we could find out anything we wanted to know as long as we had a password? <sighs> well, excuse me for not knowing every kind of software on the planet. <sighs> you may not know this, but Japan used to be the global leader in computer technology. You mean microprocessors and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Precision machine manufacturing. Now we only have an edge in the auto market. After all, Japan's a small country, so we have to import most of our resources. That's a big weakness, so we're trying to position ourselves as the leader in an important field. Biotech, huh? Yep, and that's why the government makes a real effort to subsidize any companies doing technology research that could lead to international patents. In this case, Dainippon Bio, right? So you're like a spy! No, nothing that dramatic, I'm afraid. And even if I was, their security would give me a run for my money. Huh? Huh? I must be 
be soul traveling. Huh? Huh? Whoa, no more bobblehead! I got an upgrade! Awesome! Huh? Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Yeah, in Kamada. It's okay, they said I could spend the night. Yeah, I know. <sighs> now let's see, where should I go? see me now. But it's weird. I figured there'd be more people here. Huh? <sighs> I'll order sushi. We haven't had a guest here in decades. We'll have to celebrate, won't we? I know you, don't I? You're snark, right? You figured me out. What, what is this place? Ah! What is that a spirit? But why? What are they doing in a place like this? I'm not up to this after all. Masayuki, did you fall asleep on me? Mas Masayuki? You're soul traveling, aren't you? My name's Masato Kaibara. I was actually born right here in Kamada. My parents died when I was pretty young. After that, I decided to study abroad for a while. So even though I had this giant house, it was empty for years. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Kaibara? I don't do anything, really. Hmm? Huh? When I was younger, I studied theoretical physics. But after a while, it just seemed pointless. Back then, I never dreamed one day I'd end up returning to Kamada. All of the young people in this town have moved away. Kamada is dying, slowly and quietly. When I thought of that, I realized it was the perfect place for me. What were those things? That's messed up! So, uh, how did you learn to travel to the Hidden Realm, Mr. Kaibara? The Hidden Realm? Oh, I've always called it the Abstract Realm. It wasn't something I tried to do, but all of a sudden, something just clicked, like I had an epiphany about this world, I suppose. And that's when it happened. What do you mean, an epiphany? Well, I'll try to explain this as best as I can. For starters, you know how light is both particle and wave? You learned about that in physics, right? Oh, you mean like quantum theory, huh? Yeah, we read about that in class. Yes, that's the one. Very good, very good. Light, and everything else really, exists as a collection of tiny particles. But only when and only because we perceive it that way. Hmm, I'm afraid you've lost me. <laughs> I can't really blame you, it's hard to follow. Then, let's say that nothing really exists unless it's being observed, okay? There's a belief that the universe exists in the state that it does simply because humans exist to observe it as such. Or, as anthropic principle states, it's no coincidence that the physical constants of the universe support us as we are the only creatures capable of observing them. But taking that concept one step further, I believe that the physical world itself is nothing but an illusion. In other words, Snark and the abstract realm is the real me. While this physical body you see now is simply a mirage.
This room is where the external AI brain you've been working on will be put to use. It will be shared by the bioids you see growing all around you. I'm already aware of that. It's not a matter of what I'm making or who I'm making it for. It's a matter of why you're spending so much money developing these monstrosities. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Biodes exist solely as a vehicle to grow transplantable human organs. Not long ago, there was a furious race to pursue embryonic stem cell research. And just last year, Japan pioneered the use of skin tissue... IPS cells, yes, I know. But my approach is different. There's really no comparison. You see, there's a fundamental flaw with using human tissue as a base to grow artificial organs. That is to say, it's impossible to eliminate the weaknesses of the original sample. What is this? No way! So according to you, these things don't even qualify as life? To eliminate the risk of antibody rejection, we use the recipient's DNA as our base for each bioid. But that doesn't make them human. They're nothing more than biologically engineered organic matter. They possess only the minimum brain functions necessary to grow organs. Nothing more. And since they have no need for individual brains, we're using AI. I see, that's where I come in then, hmm? So now I finally know. Don't talk like that. Hey, you've had a drink already. Isn't that enough? Well, uh, just one more, okay? <sighs> uh, Miyako, are you doing okay? No more of those shamanistic possessions, right? No. Huh? And besides, in the end, it doesn't matter what happens to me. I'll always be me, right? It's no use. No matter how hard I try, I can't soul travel in Kamada. What was that noise? A, a ghost? Taro, are you still awake? Uh, uh yeah. Forgive me, I know it's late. Uh, no, come in. It's all right, I'm fine where I am. I won't keep you. I wanted you to know that I'm truly grateful that you're such a good friend to Makoto. Well, I mean, we're just regular friends, really. I know it's too much to expect Makoto to forgive me for all I've done. But today, even though he hates me, he came here to talk. That's enough for me. I, uh... I know this must be hard on you, and I don't want to force you to talk about it, but... 
Why can't you just tell Makoto the truth? Even if it hurts, doesn't he deserve to know why his dad killed himself? It's better this way. Please believe me. But you said he wasn't the one who kidnapped me and my sister, right? So he was innocent? Yes. If that's the case, I really think you should tell Makoto. Not knowing the truth has caused him a lot of pain. And until he finds out, the pain won't stop. Uh Please pardon me for intruding on your sleep. You see, I'm never able to get up in the morning and I wanted to speak to you. At least to pay my respects before you left. I pray for your parents. No, your entire family's health in the coming years. Stephen Hawking has never refuted the theory that the current stability of the universe is not only necessary for human life, but due to it as well. Furthermore, John Wheeler, who coined the phrase black holes, believed that a concept similar to the uncertainty principle is necessary to reconcile quantum probability theory. In other words, for the current universe to exist, there must be an internal observer, in this case, a human being. <laughs> 